around me right now. Ah! Oh my gosh! Whoa! It's like bouncing off of me. Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my Nicolistic channel. Um, I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to bake it kind of like a Tea Time Tuesday. Uh, I used to do Tea Time Tuesday back in the day. I did like maybe two or three, but they were so much fun and I was able to teach you guys about tea and I've gotten a lot of requests about this, about what teas are good, um, what are my favorite, the medicinal properties of tea, um, ones that you recommend and so on. So I'm bringing Tea Time Tuesday back, but it's going to be way different than I've done them in the past. So I'm really excited. So I'm starting this one um, out here. I'm walking on the road. There's a, a giant tree in the road. Um, so last night we had a huge, huge windstorm. It was the biggest storm Jake and I have ever witnessed living here um, off the grid. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it was really scary. <laughs> I was terrified. I did not sleep at all last night. <laughs> um, so we don't sleep up in the loft anymore. We sleep underneath it, which is kind of its own structure. So we feel a little bit protected, um, but we're still, you know, really concerned about a tree falling on the yurt, which is scary. <laughs> so last night was very intense. I'm tired, but um, we survived. There was a bunch of trees that were falling all around us. It honestly sounded like a war zone happening all around us because these big trees would fall and you would hear them echo through the forest. Ugh, yeah. So I'm just out here walking the road, my normal path that I walk or run. Um, I kind of wanted just to see if there's any crazy damage. I've you know noticed so far just a ton of debris all over the road. A couple of trees have fallen that you guys seen back there. Um, but everything else seems good. I talked to a couple locals. Everyone seems to be fine. The power is out, um, but it's nice that Jake and I do solar, so we don't have to deal with that. We, um, we still, we get our power from the sun, so when the power goes out for the rest of the community, it doesn't affect us, which is really nice. So yeah, I'm also out here picking some mushrooms, found some chanterelles, and then the white ones. I'm not sure if those are hedgehog or not. I picked them. I'm gonna go look them up in the book. And yeah, so let's get on with the vlog. Today's tea that I'm going to feature and talk about is rose hips um, because to, it's the season to be picking rose hips. I just picked a bunch and dehydrated them, so I thought it'd be perfect to talk about it. Okay, now let's get into the yurt <laughs> where there's less wind and you guys can actually hear me.
look at this. I just hit the jackpot for angel wings. Holy moly. Wow, so many. Ah, look at this guy. Wow. Look at this. Look at this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lighting is ugh, next level right now. Next level, not good. Ah, hello, guys. <laughs> um, I am nice and warm back in the yurt. So excuse all the loud noises. Jake and Dylan are working outside, um, putting together a structure for sawdust. Um, 
and they're like right there. So if you hear that, I'm really sorry. Um, but I just want to make this quick for a quick tea time Tuesday and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about rose hips benefits and then also kind of what's been going on in my life. Um, I haven't posted a video on here in a while and I kind of want to make it an every Tuesday thing, tea time Tuesday where we talk about a tea, but then also talk about kind of what it's like for me living off the grid and what I'm going through um, personally and stuff like that. So again, I apologize for the lighting. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with um, a light tripod, but it is getting darker. It is winter time. So with rose hips, I'm fairly new to rose hips. Um, I didn't really know much about it until I moved here and then I saw it growing. Um, so it is fairly new, but it is such an amazing plant and the more I learn about it, the more I love it. I know with rose hips, there's about 20 times more vitamin C in rose hips than there are in oranges. Vitamin C helps maintain a healthy immune system and can prevent colds and flus. So if you're feeling sick or if you feel a flu coming on, rose hips is amazing for that. A wild rose growing down the road and um, I realized that's, you know, I'm just like learning about rose hips. So that's where rose hips comes from. You have a wild rose or rose and then later it produces the fruit. It's so crazy because the fruit um, is ready to be picked at, like early fall or when there's like a first frost, which I thought was just like, oh my gosh, because it was like the end of the summer when I thought the fruit was ready, but it was like super hard. So I had to wait and then I started doing more research and I found that out and I was like, oh, that's so fascinating. I didn't know that. <laughs> For me, the, the rose hip that I picked was very thorny and it was, um, you know, kind of hard to pick, but it's still really fun. I also want to recommend a book you guys can see. It's called Homegrown Teas. I love this book. It's like my Bible. It has like everything in it, different types of teas or just herbs and flowers and also roots. Um, so if you want to get more into teas and learning benefits of teas, I highly recommend this book. It's really amazing. It's helped me learn a lot about rose hips, which is I'm on the page right now. If you are drinking tea with me, awesome. Um, if you're drinking rose hips, that's even better. Like I'm drinking just straight rose hips. It is more of kind of like a shot of vitamin C. So I'm not feeling sick or anything, but it's also it's also important to boost your immune system every once in a while. So if you want that, definitely I recommend doing it with rose hips. If you guys don't follow the Jake and Nicole show or follow me on Instagram, um, we've just been crazy busy. We finally launched our website, comarebi.ca. It's amazing. I've been so busy designing that and putting it together. And so it's finally out there and um, it's just been a crazy journey. <laughs> so we have a sweatshirt on there with our logo that we designed um, with our property name, Como Rebi. Um, for those of you who don't know, Como Rebi is filtered sunlight through the leaves of the trees. So if you're ever in the forest or around a bunch of trees and the sun is right behind the trees and it's shining at you, you can see that it filters through the, the leaves of the trees and it just makes this beautiful rays. So that's what we named our property. Um, so we made this beautiful logo on a sweatshirt, some shirts. It has the definition on there. And then we also made it 2021 calendar um, with all of our favorite thumbnails. We went and handpicked all of them and put it together and it's really awesome. So um, if you wanna check out the website, definitely I highly recommend just scanning over it and read about read our section where it says about us. And another really awesome thing about our website is everything is eco-friendly. So all of our clothes are made with 100% cotton or 100% organic cotton. Um, we, you know, really put a lot of effort into the clothes that we wear of it being eco-friendly and, you know, good for your body. <laughs> we don't wanna, you know, do a lot of um, polyester and plastic and stuff like that. So um, another thing is our calendar is also on 100% recycled paper, which is amazing. And um, and our shipping is also eco-friendly. Um, we're using compostable bags. So when you're done with it, either if you throw it away or you can compost it and it'll break down versus using plastic, which will stick around forever. So, um, you know, I was the only way that I would start a website and selling merch is if it was going to be eco-friendly and have a very little footprint on the earth. So that's what we're trying to strive to do. So, um, so definitely check that out. We've been working like crazy on it, and um, I just I've never had a website before. I've <laughs> I've never had a business like this before. So I feel like it's like my first little my first little baby that I'm sending off into the world for people to see and view, and it's just amazing. So. Um, 
that's what's been going on, um, that. And we hired on a new um, manager, um, Dylan, um, who's been absolutely amazing. He is so sweet and he's just been a huge, huge help to Jake and I. And that's so a lot of work for Jake and I to do by ourselves. So it's just been a godsend to have Dylan here and he's just been amazing and a fast learner and it's just been really nice. So we're building him a second yurt. Or it's gonna be the property manager. So, um, you know, he'll be the first one to live in it. <laughs> so this yurt um, won't be as big as ours. It'll be about half the size. Um, and it's gonna be red. <laughs> um, it's gonna look awesome, and I'm super excited for Dylan to live in a yurt. Um, it's just such a cool and unique experience to live in one of these. They're just really cool, and the shape and the dome and everything about them is just really fascinating. So for someone else that we know that's gonna live close by to have that same experience is gonna be really cool. Um, he's gonna be able to deck it out on the inside of his personality, and, and it's just, it's gonna be really nice. So there's just a lot going on with that. And so those are things that are going on um, emotionally. I am just so grateful and so blessed to be a part of this an amazing journey here on Como Rebbe and to be able to make videos for you guys, which I've said in the past. And it's just been a whirlwind of, <laughs> of amazingness. You know, also emotionally, it's been really tough with COVID. Um, you know, it's December, so Christmas time is right around the corner. And I was so, so certain I was gonna make it home for Christmas. And I just kept telling myself that it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Well, unfortunately it's not. And, um, you know, it's really tough, but you know, with cases rising and, and with me not being a Canadian citizen and I'm going through the process of getting my permanent residency because you know, Jake and I are common law. It's just safer for me to stay here in Canada right now until all that gets sorted out. And then also with COVID and the border being closed and it's just like, ah! <laughs> there's just so much going on that it's just, would just be too risky right now, so. So, staying put, staying here in Canada is just the best thing to do right now, and it's hard, and I know it won't be forever, and I know that there's other Christmases, and we can always make up for it. In, in the springtime, um, we can have a second Christmas, you know? And uh, I know that everything will be okay, and uh, you know, my family is healthy, and they're doing great, and that makes me super happy, and we have technology to where we can do a Zoom Christmas with, you know, everybody, and it'll, it'll be amazing, because we'll make it amazing, you know? We're not gonna let this get us down and be sad and depressed about it. Um, we're going to make the most of it, and and yeah, so that's what's been going on, um, just a lot. I'm trying to um, remind myself to also, in the midst of the craziness, have time for myself, and um, I've been playing a lot of the ukulele, which I've just fallen in, madly in love with. <laughs> I love learning new songs and just strumming and zoning out and just letting my mind just melt away and it's just been really amazing so <sighs> yeah i think it's 4 30 right now and it's i mean there is some light coming through the window but it is pretty dark out there right now i have two lights just like beaming in my face and then a nice warm fire behind me but um but yes so i'm gonna end with that thank you guys for tuning in to listen to my tea time tuesday slash update and um, if you guys are drinking tea down in the comments, tell me what tea you're drinking, why you're drinking that tea, or what is your favorite tea. To tell me some teas that you'd like me to highlight or talk about and benefits and if you wanna know more about them. Also, I mean, I'm throwing a lot at you, but if you know any other cool things to do with rose hips, please, please, please put them in the comments so other people can see them and comment on them and learn. Um, that would just be amazing, you know, the internet's such an amazing tool for everyone to learn new things and um, just live a healthier and happier life. So, cheers, the cup of tea, and my very bad lighting. <laughs> Next time I will definitely try to do better. I just wanted to get this video out and I had so much on my mind, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep ranting unless I stop. So I love you guys and please subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.